<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from Viva La Vegan and welcome to this week's question and answers as part of our ongoing video series comes out every Tuesday. If you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do. This week's question is, how can I explain animal cruelty without using horrible graphics? Now I think this is a bit of an easy one because the answer is within the question. Explain it to people and don't just show them. Now um, you just have to be honest, open and express how you feel in a non-judgmental way and I think that's a really great start of how to get the message across to people. And um, there's I know for, for someone like me who really cares about the animals and animal rights and ethics, it is hard for me to understand when some people just have no care for any animals whatsoever. But keep this in mind because the people that you may be trying to get to may not care about animals at all. So you're sort of wasting your marketing and your targeting abilities when you can be trying some other avenues. For example, health, environment, fitness, um, ethics, labor, slave, slave labor, trade stuff. Have a look, there's so many different things that you can try, not just graphic animals and not just animal rights stuff. Also, if you do choose to show graphic imagery, and there's definitely a place for this because there's so much out there and there's so many people that do like some really amazing work to get this footage, so it definitely should be shared. Um, it's just, you know, you have to balance the way that you share it as well. So for example, You've got this undercover footage of a piggery that you really want to share because you love pigs, you adore pigs. So you share that whether it's on as a social media sort of um, post or whether it's on your blog. So you share that link, say something about it, and then, then at the end you give people a way that they can actually help. So you can then you know maybe share a link to an animal sanctuary or show another video of a pig that's been rescued and is now living the rest of its life at an animal sanctuary. You have to remember to balance the good and the bad as well because if you're giving someone this m massive full-on violent imagery that's just going to upset them you're probably just going to turn people off but if you can follow that with something here's the issue here's how you can help it's much better to digest it than just showing something something than just showing people something negative. Instead of just showing people something negative, you're actually giving them an idea of how they can help, which is empowering people to get on board and help us out with the things we really need to do to change our world. So I hope this week's um, video was good and I hope that answered a few questions. And if you have any other tips, make sure you leave them in the comments. And I'll see you for next week question and answer, which is, what's the best source of protein?